How are you doing? Hmm? Okay. Hi everyone, I have an exciting video for you today. I've decided to share with you how I did my makeup in junior high. <laughs> So I actually still have a lot of the products that I used in junior high, very sadly. They're probably expired, but perfect for this video. Hashtag throwback. I didn't know very much about makeup and I still don't, but um, there were a lot of things that I was doing wrong. <laughs> and I am 100% for real with you. This is how I did my makeup in real life. Okay, so the first thing I did was um, I was obsessed with my eyebrows in a bad way. I didn't fill them in and as you can see I don't have a lot of hair to begin with but I would pluck them like a lot and then I would take some clear mascara and I would glue those puppies down. I would glue them down. It's not like they were even bad. I just felt the OCD need to have my eyebrows perfectly in place at all times. Once my eyebrows are looking perfect, I would then go in with some foundation. Okay, this isn't the exact foundation I used. I remember I used my mom's Mary Kay foundation and I didn't put it on my face because I thought that was yucky. I still don't love foundation. But I would just put it under my eyes. But it was not really matching. Okay, the lighting here that we have set up right now is definitely helping, but um, putting a little foundation under my eyes didn't do much for me. <laughs> All right, so the next step is blush. I liked a really dark colored blush and would use one of my mom's old janky Avon brushes. By the way, if you're wondering who's in the background, that's Legolas. I really liked Legolas when I was a tween. And make sure to go all the way up your cheek, you know? Perfect. Okay, so the next step was probably my favorite eyeshadow but I didn't just do eyeshadow I did glitter I would just pack it on my eyelid like this so as you can see the glitter would get on the rest of my face I'm having so many flashbacks right now I don't think the glitter I used was quite this chunky but it was close. Remember I would be like sitting in class and I would blink and I'd get glitter in my eyeballs. <laughs> I was always going like this. I would have to stop at my locker and make sure that I didn't have glitter on my face. Yep. Why does she have glitter on her? <laughs> so, yeah. The next step would to curl my eyelashes and put on some mascara. No eyeliner for this girl. No, distract from the glitter. And this is the exact mascara I used, this Great Lash. Stop. And then the last step would just be some lipstick. And I probably use this exact one, Wet n Wild. Mm-hmm. Doggy. That is the finished look right there, folks. Sex is sex, I made up of books, it is asked. Pushing and bullying, conservative rolling. So that makeup look was not an everyday makeup look, but I did it quite often, you know, when I was feeling it. This was another makeup look that I would do a lot. So I glue my eyebrows, you know, that was a daily thing and I'd like use this little brush. I did my hair like this too. This was very in in junior high. This like front bump and like straight hair, but I didn't want to straighten my hair. So 
you just get it curly today. I wore limited too, like it was going out of style because it did go out of style. You're the meaning in my life. You're the inspiration. So for this look, I would take literally this exact thing. It is from Mary Kay and it's like a illuminating powder. And I would just take off the lid and wipe this on my eyes like this to try and get you know at least some sparkle going on when you were like 11 they had glitter hairspray and body spray and you'd put glitter on everywhere <laughs> everywhere <laughs> and if i was feeling it i put a little bit on my cheeks you know just to get a little extra just a little extra something something take my little blush brush you know just kind of lots and lots of blush Everything was sparkly, everything was beautiful. Blush was always a thing. Blush never got old. All right, folks, it's true. I was a sinner and I wore blue eyeshadow. I maybe used a brush for this. I probably just used my finger most of the time. Pack it on, girl. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da. I'm blue, da ba dee da ba da. And I'm going in with that great lash again. Hello, of course. It was everything. <sighs> well, ain't she a beauty? Guys, I honestly like can pull this off a lot better than I did back in the day. Back in the day, it was so bad. Like, I don't know why I had any friends or why I still do. I had braces and my favorite color was yellow. So just, just throw that in the mix for a second, why don't ya? Okay, number two, I was trying to be like really hot and sexy, but I was too nerdy. Like I had glasses, and these are way cuter than the glasses I had. Cut to the picture. Like, it was so bad. It was so bad, you guys. And then to top all this off, I had bangs, right? And I just got sick of them one day. So I just decided to just cut them off and I just cut off my bangs like this. Snippy! It was fine for a while and I didn't have bangs but then eventually they started growing back and I looked like a monk. So as you can see times change but um you know, the true me is always going to be right here. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what your makeup looked like when you were younger. I, I really liked makeup and I still like makeup, but I'm definitely not a professional. Hey guys, what are you doing today? You want to go get lunch? I think I'm going to have Skittles for lunch. Yeah, definitely just Skittles. That hey mom, who do I remind you of? Uh, seventh grade Marissa, but with bangs. You need to cut those off so you're like a little booty. I tried, I tried cutting them up a little bit. Nice. Oh, yeah, very nice. You might need shinier lip gloss too. You were very Oh, thick very to shiny lap. lip like gloss. To I should have thought of that. Marissa wasn't quite 12. She was about to turn 12. Mm -hmm. And she came out of her bathroom wearing a baseball cap, which she had never worn before. And I was like, What's up? What's up with you? And she yeah. goes, <gasps> flung it off. She didn't even like try to hide it for two hours or anything. She cut it. And her bangs were up to here. Oh cut bangs, but they were crooked. So I cut them again and then they were still crooked. So I cut them one more time and I couldn't get them straight. So I just cut them off. And then it slowly grew to like right here. And she looked like one of those Buddhist monks with yeah. the hair like this. And then when it was finally like this long, we could at least kind of pull it to the side with a little clip, but she has a long forehead. So she doesn't look good with her hair pulled back like that, but it took like a year to not look like super dork. <laughs> I love